So we're still in Middlesbrough for our next loft visit. This is Mr. and Mrs. Cole, Wheatley and Son. Good morning, Stephen Wynn. Morning, Keith. Morning, Keith. It's nice to see you coming to Old Lofts. Yeah, thanks for allowing me to come look at your pigeons, mate. It's a pleasure. How long have you been in the sport? Well, I've been flying pigeons with my son for seven years, and I've just gone in partners within the last four years. Yeah. So, what's the partnership now? You got uh, Mr. Miss... and Mrs. Cole, Wheatley and Son. Yeah. What's one or two of your best performances? Well, last year at Young Bird National, we topped the third, um, fourth up North Combine, 18,000 pigeons. This year, our best performance out of 27,000 pigeons was 5th combine, 11th combine, 32nd. We won the best two bed performance out of the same race, and we've had other combine missions. Yeah, as brilliant, well as mate. Absolutely brilliant. This is my checker cock. It's probably the best race pigeon we've got, which it is the best race we've got. He has five fests. He has a, he's barely the NIT side fed this year, the biggest fed in up north combine. He has two second feds this year, third fed, fifth up, fifth up north combine. Out of 27,000 pigeons. He has a 54th up north combine out of Lillers. He has an 84th up north combine out of Lillers. He has 186th combine from Lillers again. And lots and lots of other positions. Yeah, Being beat by loft mates four times, I think, as well. What systems are you raced on, Steve? You're all widowed. All widowed. Yeah. What, what strain is he? He's a Van Reed bred by Brownlee and East Sons and Ward. He's a gift pigeon, and we call him a skinny cock. And we could not produce any better pigeons than this pigeon on the race day. What system do you race your old birds on, Steve? It's all totally woodward, all woodward. Yeah, how many cocks do you race? We started off last season with 41, we raced 40, we ended up with 38. Yeah, what distance do you like racing to? We sent them, they went to 550, we sent two cocks to 550, but we timed them well up to 450. Yeah, do you race them every week? Most of the weeks, all, they all go to every inland race, all of them. Yeah. And the stop for like challenge races. Yeah. When do you pair up? They always pair up after Blackpool. Yeah. How about training them? I train them before the first race and never ever get a chuck again. I give them about six chucks before the first race, then they finish. That's that's it for the full season. Never train again. Yeah. How about feeding? I feed to the weather, to be quite honest. If yeah. I come back from a race and it's been a hard race and it's a northeast wind, it's cold. I feed them. I build them up very quick. But if it's sunshine, it's brilliant on Sunday. Sunshine, brilliant on on a Monday. Keep them broke down. Yeah, so you do break them down. I do break them down, yeah. Do you beat the corn up at all for long distance? I give them maize. Come yeah. from the Thursday, as soon as I go over 250 mile, I'll give them an ounce of maize first. Yeah, do you show the end on marking night? It depends. For the first six races, I never show the end until the Folks and Nationals. Folks and Nationals is the sixth race. I show them, because that's a main race, I show them for the like the sixth race. The first five races, they never see the end. Yeah, how about on a Saturday when they come home? How long do they get the end for? If it's a hard race on a Saturday, I do quite opposite other people I always leave the end, ends in with the cocks for about five minutes but easy day I'll leave them in for four hours this is a young cock I call after my son we call it young tweet top of the feathers young bird last year flown on the dark system it was fourth up north combine out of 18,000 pigeons this year it's gone on to Woodward and it has been on the dark system last year when he topped the feather he went on the Woodward this year he was 11th combine out of 27,000 pigeons he was bird, young bird of the year in the club last year he's got six seconds beat beat by off mates three times um, three fests, loads of thirds and fourths, just a very consistent pigeon. What strain is he, Steve? Staff Van Reed, Red Brown, Brownlee, Nee, Sons and Ward. These are a few of the partnerships with Wood Cox. I must say their credit to them, they look fantastic. This is our uh, checker pad uh, cock. Uh, one of our best races when I flew in the GYA and uh, it is now our number one stock cock. Uh, we broke it off up here and it continued to win uh, numerous firsts and then we put it to stock and it's been breeding winners ever since and it's a Bert Van Gothen Janssen. The um, Janssens we've now crossed with the Van Reeds and uh, they're still continuing uh, to win. He's a fantastic pigeon he win. He's fantastic, he's known as a 75 cock because that's his last two numbers. Yep. This is the partner's main Widowood loft. It's three sections with 48 nest boxes, open door trapping, and the nest boxes are never completely full up. They've always got spare nest boxes. How many babies you breed each year, Steve? Last year I had um, 70, 75 young birds. Yeah, how far do they race? They race right at the Young Bear National, 200. 
40 mile, I think it is. Do you save any cocks for Woodward? I save the cocks of what's left at the end of the year. I sort them out after the last race. The good cocks I keep, the ones what's no good, go the journey. Yeah, what would you feed your babies? I feed them a prestige mix, I call it. Best lager prestige. It's, it's a good mix. It's expensive, but it's a very good mix, to be quite honest. Yeah, how about train them? I train them right up till the second race about Mansfield, then I ease off. I only give them a chuck probably once every two weeks after yeah. that, something like that. And you're racing the dark system? I raced, I started the dark system last year in 1994. I had a year in advance before anybody else in our club found out about it, to be quite honest. Yeah. So what's the advantage of it, do you think? Well, it's because of the older primary flights. I think yeah. that's the main advantage. Yeah. But to be quite honest, because people have heard about it, they think all you've got to do is go on the dark system. I think it's a lot harder than that. I think, honestly, you've got other pigeons to go on the dark system. This is a senior side one of the young bird sections. Of course, we're at the end of the year now, needs a hen. And a few flirters. This is a checker pie then, just races as a young bird. She went to seven races, she won four of them, she was bird of the year in the Dormans Club out the GYA. She bred off that big checker pie cock, what we had on earlier, the stock cock, paired to a Van Reet then from Brown and Sons and Wards, which is the young birds the same way better as this, we've had nine youngs up and seven of them all been winners. Never. All right, Steve, thanks very much for letting me see your pigeons today, mate. Have a it's real credit to it's you. It's a pleasure, it's a pleasure. We've moved on now to young Steve Wheatley's show loft. The star of the Peter Lee show yesterday, best in show. Good morning, Stevie. Good morning, Keith. Congratulations, Jesse, for being best in show at the Peter Lee show. Thanks, sir. How long have you been in the sport, mate? It's about 10 years, since I was about 6 years old. Yeah, so you're about 16 years of age. Yes. What's your best performance is showing? Peter Lee, I've won Peter Lee the last two years. I won the Wallet in 1994, best in show. For the same pigeon I won yesterday. Yeah. I've won one of the championship show the last two or three years. I've had many, many more. Yeah, brilliant performances, mate. Taking off to your granddad. Yeah, he's shown me the way I've done it. This is my red checker cock, best in show Peter Lee yesterday. Dad, best in show at the Wallet in 1994. It won Weatherby Championship show in 1994, best in show. It's had many, many more positions in big classics. Wonderful pigeon. What line is he then? He's Steve? still my granddad's old pigeons, all his old best red checker cocks. Yeah. What's your favourite colour? Do you like reds best? Reds and checks. Yeah, it's a beautiful pigeon, mate. Champion. You like racing pigeons as well as Shane, Stevie, don't you? Yeah, I enjoy both of them. I get up on the morning before I go to work at 6 o'clock. Let the racing pigeons out, clean them out, get them in, feed them with me dad and I do the show pigeons as well before I go to work at 8 o'clock. Yeah. How many show pigeons you got to show? 20, up to 20 to 30 20, to show. Yeah, yeah. How many shows do you have a year? Yeah, it's about 8 classic shows, yeah. go from Scotland right down to Blackpool. Yeah, show got Blackpool, you enjoyed it? Yeah, that's my favourite show that. Yeah, it's a big, big show that mate. Yeah. This is a selection of Steve's main showing hens, including last year's best in shot, Peter Lee. This is the checker hen, the TL, and it won best in shot, Peter Lee, last year. It's had four best in shots so far, and I hope it has many, many more. What lines is she, Stevie? She's still a blowcock of Steve Dentium's, and the Mother of it is off a checker cock of Holland Spedens. What's your preparation for your pigeons for the big shows in, Steve? It's usually not too fat, give them enough corn. If they're too fat, give them less corn. Yeah. Baths on a Wednesday before the shows. Usually some home farm, give them one farm twice a day. Yeah. Put a bit of growth in it sometimes. Depends what the pigeons feel like. Fresh water every day. Yes, I don't special. Yeah, it's just, put, just a matter of common sense. Yeah, sometimes I put garlic in it. Yeah, the garlic and water. And vitamins the day before they go to the show. When do you pair your show birds up? 
a week after Blackpool, usually about a week. Your pigeons are nice and tame, Steve. Yes, very This is Steve's main old bird cock team. Beautiful pigeons. How many babies you breed to show each year, Steve? It's usually about 35 to 40 youngsters. Yeah, do you pen train them? No, never ever. How many shows they have as young birds? They have the same amount as the old birds, usually about eight classic shows. Yeah. This red cock's through my granddad's pigeons, it's his best show pigeon. He used to call it the bull because he never stopped fighting with other pigeons in the loft. It's had many, many first prizes for him. Is he now breeding winners for you? Yeah, he breeds excellent pigeons. The pigeon won best in show last year at Weatherby. He bred and he's breeding many, many winners. How many pairs of stock birds you keep then for showing, Steve? Ten, ten pairs of stock pigeons. Yeah. Are they all re retired top birds? Yeah, they've done, they've done their first at show, so stopped them down. Yeah, Take the rings off them because the leg starts well enough. I see, yeah. When do you pair them up? Pair them up just after Blackpool. We pair all the show pigeons up. Oh, but at the same time as the show birds themselves. Yeah. How many babies do you breed from them each season? Usually about 20, 20 of them and 20 of the main yeah, show pigeons. Yeah.